Legacy of Destruction marks the return of Yugi's most famous cards, and it looks like... I didn't think this would affect the market, but man, something's always going to get. Make sure you guys smash the and crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more on this content. You know how many printings of Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction, that there actually are? Because, I mean, yeah, Gandora X is still like nothing. Um, but with all of these uh, little printings kind of floating around here, you always generate back to the original print, which is the Shonen Jump magazine. Now, I do want to say one interesting thing about the Shonen Jump magazine stuff. Um, this. <laughs> this right here. Somebody just paid a nice $11, 10 bucks for these. Um, the biggest thing I want to point out, though, is most of these Shonen Jump magazine promos have been going, and you only have four near-mint listings of Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction, currently on the market right now for this. So for whatever is going on right now with the inclusion of Gandora and some of these builds, um, the near mints just got literally ripped off of the market in real buyout fashion. I'm, I'm going to say, good job. I didn't think the people would do it, but they did it. Ah, a mono Iwato. Huh, this uh, this doesn't look very out of the ordinary, right? Like $2 and uh, $3 for the reprint? Well, that's, uh, that's a little bit strange or rude to me. The thing is, a mono Iwato does not have a hollow printing yet for whatever reason. I've always wondered why they've avoided giving this um, the hollow printing, but you're if you're trying to pay or play anything with a mono, you're getting blasted. Actually, these near mints... Yeah, with tax, you're probably going to be paying about $3 per copy of these. Um, that's not good, actually. So, bad news out here to the casual degenerate deck enjoyers. The Spirit Monster of No is going up. Okay. Um, Ignite Crusaders. Huh. I didn't... I love the fact that there's always, there's always going to be that one Italian listing on the listing that's going to be super cheap you're going to kind of scratch your neck a little bit and you're going oh, okay okay i see you i see you i i respect it um these are now officially nine dollars 850 yeah you're after tax you're probably looking at about a solid nine dollars on ignite crusader once again that's not amazing by any stretch of the imagination but you know you can think the exodia turbo deck that now suddenly everybody wants to kind of play because they're suddenly inspired by the story you know exodia did well out of one ycs you know now i want to go ahead and you know pick all this up and i'm glad to see that even now after what like we're nearly a month, a couple weeks after the YCS, and the hype is still rolling for that deck. Okay. Uh, Magnificas. I don't know if you've been paying attention to these, but uh, I feel like these went up again. Um, I just sold a crap ton of these, actually. Uh, yeah, 19, 17, 16. Yeah, it looks like we are going back up to nearly the $20 mark. It's not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, but I guess a gain is a gain on the secondary market for this sort of stuff. So if you've got Magnificas and you're not all that shocked about that, okay. I also see that our good old reliable Starlights have actually dropped down to a hundred. That's actually disgusting. You know, they held 150 for so long, but now that Konami has kind of destroyed the, the integrity of the starlight market it's it's just been free falling and i think it's going to continue down a terrible path so ots tournament pack 23 you know things will go down in value said robbie right 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 yeah no these enemy controllers so many people predicted this card to be a 20 dollar card i was one of them all right most of most of our ots's as of late We've pretty much had the same solid lesson be taught to us. Something in the pack's going to be worth nothing, and it's probably going to be Econ. And now, Econs are still solidly holding about the $60 mark. I mean, more and more of them are populating. It's just going to be a, a, an amount of time until, you know, that does come on down and pressure it on out, which is fine. Uh, Curry Car at 50 Big Welcome at 47 50 Nice. Pulling the rugs are getting bought out. Thanks, Edison. I can't wait for this. 
Can't wait for this card to suddenly be a $10 card after the OTS pack is out of circulation and people are going to be like, I don't understand why he's pulling the rug going up. It's because of Edison format and it's going to continue to be like that because more and more people continue to look at this. Also, the for those of you that haven't been paying attention to the Labyrinth pieces, these cards have evidently been going up too. I mean, nice 281, nice cuckoo clock at a... Nice three dollars. Even the emergencies three bucks. And the preventers here are dollar fifties. So you you have a lot of very cheap cards, but from what I've been told, definitely the 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 Torby feels like it's extremely hard to pull. Which wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you know, clumping does exist, but. That's uh, not exactly the kind of story that you want to be hearing, you know. You open up your OTS packs, like, I need to pull one stove. You go through ten of them from your winnings for a couple weeks, and you're like, no, this was terrible. Ha! Huh. I'm not going to go through the entirety of Verity Collection for this video, but just be aware, as has been tradition for this set, 18 listings. 18 listings for Ghost Bell. It's beginning. <laughs> Love the dip down, by the way. I paid 15s for my ghost bells when I picked them up. Nice 24, nice 30, nice 30. And it looks like, yeah, they are... I wonder how long this card will hold at 30 or if it'll repopulate back down. Because I've noticed what it's been like each and every day this week. It feels like it's been a different, yeah, it feels like it's been a different quarter century that's been kind of bouncing back and forth. You'll, you'll see one suddenly worth something. You'll see another one kind of spin up and do another. It's it's interesting. And then, of course, Lightning Storm. Quarter centuries on the market are 35 of these. I do see that we do have a pretty strong dip down here, but uh, if 25, 24, 23, yeah, these are... These are solidly hitting 25. Um, once again, between this and Ghost Bell, I mean, we've already seen we've seen Ash Blossom have its buyout, and the uh, the M perm. It has just been stupid to watch the insanity that this set has brought to the table because it's just bouncing all over the place and it's not stopping. Ah, Flamberge. So I made a video talking about YCS Japan a while back. If you haven't looked back on that, I do highly recommend that. Um, but we did see Pure Snake Eyes actually function as a deck. Nice 120 on these. Um, for the most part, you have two solid listings, about $50. Once those are gone, you're jumping up to $55, $60, and then you accelerate on up to the $72 mark. Yeah, that's not good at all. Um, it's actually kind of crazy to see how um, how much people are going crazy for these. And of course, I don't know if you've been keeping up with uh, good old Thunder King Ryo as well, but uh, Near Mint's 150, then 120 for Mod, another 120 for Mod, and then 155. So pretty solidly going all over the place. I mean, when you accelerate down here into the commons, um, Lois Rady's going to hit you about $7. So that's kind of insane. Now, this is a kicker. 14 listings for the Novelez restaurant at the table. I hope you pick this up because it's waifu. All right, people, this card has been gaining a lot more momentum as of recently. And you, you might not want to believe this, but people want to play the Novelez deck. It, it, it's so extremely cheap. Like the pendulum stuff with the Corvature is really cool. All the interactions with the deck are extremely cool. And I see that uh, people are believing in it. And the Voice Say La Carte is also going up here. Nice five, six dollars. Um, but you're hitting on up to the eight, nine dollar mark. Congratulations to Novelez, of all things finally becoming worth something and of course i wanted to point out here iron hands journey out here still love the full art at 34 nice 14 dollars and a nice eight dollars here so that is everything that has been happening in our market keep in mind we're still seeing rarity collection buyouts i do believe that news is done for the month though at this point minus you know whatever our next v jump promo announcement is going to be so things are going to go quiet for a little bit we do have the fire king structure deck on the horizon so you know we're going to enter into a slow phase here but we'll have to wait and see how the market kind of handles that it's going to be interesting so please leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think and i'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day guys patrons
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.